All right, so we are looking at an AP free response problem. Um, we are going to take this equation for a curve in the xy plane and find, a ta find the derivative, find a tangent line, and do some other analysis of the curve. Okay, so first, find the derivative. Um, we cannot solve for y here, so we are going to implicitly differentiate. All right, so um, 2x dx dx plus 2 dx dx plus 4y cubed dy dx plus 4 dy dx equals 0. So now I want to get everything with a dy dx on one side of the equation and everything else on the other side of the equation. So I'm going to move these two terms over to the other side. Also, I'm going to remember that dx dx, the rate of change with respect to x, is just 1. So that's going to disappear. So I have 4y cubed dy dx plus 4 dy dx. And then I'm going to subtract these over. And I get negative 2x minus 2. All right, I'm now going to factor out the dy dx dy dx, and then I have a 4y cubed plus 4 equals negative 2x minus 2. And I'm going to divide to get the dy dx by itself. So that's negative 2x minus 2 over 4y cubed plus 4. And of course, I can simplify that. I can divide each term by 2. So I have dy dx is negative x minus 1 over 2y cubed plus 2. All right, write an equation for the line tangent, tangent to the curve at the point negative 2, 1. Well, the point is already given, so that's nice. So now I just need a slope. And so my slope, which is dy dx, when I plug in this point, negative 2, negative 1, I'm going to get negative, negative 2 minus 1 over 2 times 1 cubed plus 2. So that's going to be 2 minus 1 over 2 plus 2, or 1 fourth. So the equation of my line is y minus 1 is 1 fourth x plus 2. All right, find the coordinates of the two points on the curve where the line tangent to the curve is vertical. Um, if the tangent line is vertical, that means the tangent line has a slope that is undefined. Okay. Well, do you, um, the slope will be undefined when the denominator of the slope equation equals 0. So we want to know when does 2y cubed plus 2 equal 0, or 2y cubed equal negative 2, or y cubed equal negative 1. And this is when y is negative 1. The cube root of negative 1 is negative 1. So now I'm going to take that value and plug it into um, the x equation. And uh, I'm sorry, the equation for the curve, the original equation for the curve given at the top of the problem. And I'm going to find x values for when y is negative 1. We should also say we want the denominator to equal 0 when the numerator does not equal 0. If uh, this is denominator equals 0, and this is numerator does not equal 0. If they both equal 0, then we have a whole. All right, so into the original equation, x squared plus 2x plus y to the fourth plus 4y equals 5. 
So that gives me x squared plus 2x. I'm going to get a plus 1 minus 4 equals 5. And that's going to give me x squared plus 2x uh, minus 8. Okay. And that is going to factor into x plus 4 x minus 2. So I get two values, uh, x, let's turn that into an x, equals negative 4 or 2. And I'm just going to confirm that does not make the numerator uh, equal 0. So we are safe. The numerator does not equal 0 in those cases. And so the two points are negative 4, negative 1 and 2, negative 1. Two points on the curve where the tangent line is vertical because its slope is undefined. All right, last part here. Um, is it possible for the curve to have horizontal tangents at points where it intersects the x-axis? Okay. Horizontal tangent line means the derivative is 0. dy dx equals 0. Intersecting the x-axis means y is 0, right? If you have a point on the x-axis, any point on the x-axis is some value 0. So whatever the x value is, the y value must equal 0. So we want to say, can the derivative ever equal 0 when y equals 0? So now we need to figure out when is the derivative equal to 0. Well, the derivative is equal to 0 when the numerator equals 0. So now we want the numerator to equal 0 when, so negative x minus 1 equals 0 when the denominator does not equal 0. 2y uh, cubed plus 2 does not equal 0. OK. The numerator equals 0. Uh, what am I doing here? Negative x equals 1 when x is negative 1. The numerator equals 0 when x is negative 1. Okay, so, and uh, we already found those points. That does not, that is, those are no, not cases when the denominator is zero. So, we want to know, can x equal negative one when y equals zero? When x is negative one, the slope of the tangent line is zero. Can this occur at a point on the x-axis? Well, let's just plug this point. Is the point negative 1, 0 on this, the graph of y? OK, so I'm plugging this point into my original equation. Negative 1 squared, x squared, plus 2x, 2 times negative 1, plus 0 to the fourth, plus 4 times 0 equals 5. Does this point, is this point a solution to this equation? 1 minus 2 equals, neg equals 5? That is not true. Negative 1 does not equal 5. Therefore, this point is not on this curve and it is not possible to have a horizontal tangent line where the curve intersects the x axis. Oops, sorry, missed the work there. Again, I'm plugging my point negative 1, 0 into the original equation to see if it works in the original equation. And I wind up with negative 1 equals 5, which is false. So negative 1, 0 is not on our curve, and no. There is no horizontal tangent line where the point intersects the x-axis.